yeah hi everyone santosh here i hope you have enjoyed my last two videos first one is uh, mscrm and introduction and uh, second one is um, different uh, deployment types in mscrm so as i mentioned in my last video uh, i'm going to um, show you today about creating a mscrm online instance so how to create a MSCRM online instance uh, Microsoft uh, providing a 30 days trial version uh, so as I told you in my previous post uh, we'll be having uh, deployment types like online deployment and on-premise deployment so on-premise for on-premise deployment we need servers and separate installation for that but to learn MSCRM uh, it's a best way that MSCRM is providing us the online version for 30 day trial version so it's just a 5 minutes of work to create a online MSCRM online so when you are creating the MSCRM online obviously it's the latest one and latest, um, latest MSCRM version that will get over there so it's always useful you know, uh, you know, creating online instance and going through that uh, MSCRM website so you'll be uh, it means you'll be knowing uh, new technologies and new features of uh, new features of MSCRM so let's see how to create a MSCRM online instance just type in Google MSCRM online trial version so, um, so this is the first link free trial Microsoft Dynamics CRM um, just click on it okay so try try microsoft dynamic crm online mm, self start trial so this is just click on get started so you should have uh, some valid email id to create this mscrm online instance so just uh, it is asking uh, in a in country so i'll be giving uh, india because i am from india um, so and here give the first name and last name so i'm giving my name is santosh and last name is balaraju so business email id ssr jntu valid email id to provide the valid email id because the communication will come to this email id only um, business phone number just i'm mentioning my mobile number number you should give your company name over here some any name you can give here let me give MSCRM to show reels let's check whether I have this name or not I just have done it MSCRM to show reels are given their name so English your organization size here the people the people that you are working the employees that present in your company this is the trial version so you can give anything so i'm just giving 25 to 49 and after that click on next page so create your user id so this is uh, an user id that you are going to you know, log into uh, your instance so mscrm online to to Reels giving this will be the MSCI on address company name and I'm giving MSCRM to to Reels. This will be your login ID. You know, you can log in with this ID MSCRM tutorials at Microsoft.com password. And create uh, some song password um, I've given the uh, some strong password containing some alphabets like uh, numbers digits and some special characters the next so you have to provide your you can select call you will get the call or you want to just message you will get some code and you have to just it's to verify so you'll be getting some code to your mobile so 
I am um, waiting for a verification code. Yeah, I got it on my on my mobile. So I'm entering this. One, nine, nine, one, nine, double one. Okay, I have entered the verification code that I got on my mobile. So just create my account. So save this information because as I told this is your user ID and this is the sign page this is the, the above URL you will be don't save never and uh, this is the URL that you will be logging giving in the browser and after that you will be entering this user ID and password so I am keeping with these things to me with me just I am saving it okay yes it will take some time to create the account mostly yeah I, i've done with this so you are ready to go so when you click on it it will be asking two more things i guess and let's check let's ask for currency so uh, this is the new feature that uh, what I'm seeing if you want only sales as I told the CRM contains three modules like sales and, and uh, uh, service and marketing some so is they are providing you uh, yeah you can if you have only one module you can just select sales or you want only this you can do the customer service so actually we want all of this so I have selected all of this uh, see select currency by country as I selected India it's came Mm, rupee so still you want to uh, you know this msrm on instance for other country some us some malaysia according to that uh, it will select dollar canada dollar uh, if i select australia australian dollars so according to country the dollar currency will be changing so i am selecting india again because I'm from India, I'm trying to. I have selected India, so complete setup. So it will take some time to load the application. yeah it's a trial version so it will explain that yes after that if you want you can buy so just i'm closing it new alerts uh, you'll be getting alerts let's close this i'll be explaining all of this in coming video so this is what we have will be having ui okay this is the oh my god we'll be getting so many notifications it's care point integration also we can do it and we'll also see on that also we'll see so this is what uh, the ms crm you know uh, interface or ui or website what you can this is what you feel now actually this is very uh it's a very new version actually 2011 it looks completely different uh, and uh, after the 2013 a lot more it looks like the same way what you're looking like but uh, some new features added and some UA changes are very very minor changes has been done for UI for 2013 to 2015. Now this is we can check what is the what is the version of it. So if you go here and say this is MS CRM online 2016 update. So this is 2016. And uh, as I mentioned in my first video, I mentioned only MS CRM 2016 on premise. So recently we got uh, MS CRM 2016 on premise also. Just note down it. So now the this is MS CRM online we can say 2016 okay this is what i told um see here this is the url for your organization so you can go um, in the initial we have copied uh, one url over here i hope uh, what is that uh, sorry where i mentioned that yeah this is you can uh, Post this, um, keep copy this URL in the browser, and you can enter this user ID. Then also it will redirect to your uh, site, or if you want uh, your unique site, so this will be your URL. You can say as it told uh, um, 
CRM is nothing but ASP.NET website, so you can see the ASPX in, um, extension. That is nothing but uh, for ASP.NET pages, you'll have this. So, this is will be in URL. So, I am the user here. So, and uh, what is my company name as the MSCRM tutorials at Microsoft.com? What have you and all them? So, as I told you, um, it's nothing but MSCRM is CRM customer relationship management where we'll be having sales marketing and uh, service modules so you can see that modules over here i guess see sales service marketing settings will come for your developers to customize uh, these applications help center some helping you'll get from the microsoft mm, okay so as i told uh, um, this will be con considering the three modules once is sales and service and marketing so settings for the developers to customize the website okay these are the dashboards uh, to you know to show reports according to their business how many uh, opportunities have been created in a business um, kind of stuff um what are yes set crm data this is a new feature given in uh, from 2013 or i guess uh, i'm not sure but uh, in 2011 it's not there so you can complete my application you can search for and see let me select alex let me see what it will get for you so in accounts you have some alex in contacts you have some alex alex you in leads also so activities and this stuff so it is like global uh search we say and uh, this is advanced and phr will will come to know mm, so if you go here uh, first this is sales module so if you click on sales module select a set from rd all stuff related to one moment if i select the sales module it will show the sales module in sales module you will see this different types from my work customers in my work you'll be having the dashboards what's new activity it's customers customers can be accounts or contacts i, I hope you people will be happy okay that results i'll be explaining next time that so what are the who are the contacts and what are the accounts um you know right uh, contact is like individual and accounts can be uh suppose let's say some it company and uh, see an it company for i uh, see for icca bank let's suppose uh, uh microsoft a company microsoft is a company and ICS bank is a bank so for micro <coughs> if and employees in <coughs> microsoft these consider there's three so what happens uh if ICC bank will come to Microsoft uh, to give their services, so Microsoft will become account, and employees of Microsoft will become contacts to the to the ICC if they provide salary accounts to them. Okay, that's how uh, different accounts and contacts. What your sales? And so sales model will contain leads and opportunities, competitors, collateral codes, orders, invoices, bills, nothing but invoices, bills orders that you are getting products that they are selling some sales literature <coughs> excuse me marketing list this is for marketing goals that are tools uh, reports that i told you already we need some sql and uh, sorry i need i want to tell you something uh, for online for reports only fetch xml query has to be uh, has, will, will be working for on premise sql queries you can write fetch xml also but for online there is a restriction that we should write fetch xml only that also we'll discuss okay so now we have seen sales so sales module now we'll go through service module uh, service module so service module also you'll have dashboards and customers entities contact social profile service c this is the main service case entities service calendar queues <coughs> excuse me look at these calendars this is let me select service This is case entities. Uh, okay. Next, uh, marketing. Go for marketing. Uh, some marketing list or something entity. So it will changing here. Let's see. Starts. Marketing also done. Mm. And uh, this is the settings. And uh, settings will I will have access. Not only um, will will have access uh, settings um, tab for only the administrator. Like we can say as a we can say 
um, developers so they can do some customizations on this so customizations this is what i told where we do some customizers to this website mm, what else we have to tell about this ui this dashboard i told and okay i think uh, for today it will be enough for introduction so just try to create um MSCRM online instance mm, okay and check the ui and we'll be discussing some new topic in my coming post okay thank you thank you if you like my video please comment share with your friends thank you so much